In our zero budget blue screen fun tip, we promise to show you how to key out a subject who wasn't standing in front of a coloured background. Now it's time to tell you about difference keying. While colour keying is based on the computer making pixels of a certain colour transparent, in difference keying the computer takes an image of your subject in front of a complex background and uses another shot of the complex background alone to produce the difference between the two shots, which, if it goes right, should be your subject with the background removed. In other words, this take away this equals this. In practice, the process is a complete pain in the ass. We've spent the last month trying to make it work and have come up with pretty crap results. I'm sure someone out there can do it better, but here's how to get started using Adobe After Effects. Import your raw footage. Underneath it, put a layer of just the background. In theory, you can use video footage or a still, and we found video works better, so remember to shoot plenty of background after your actor has finished doing their thing in front of the camera. Make the background layer invisible. Go to Effect, Keying, Difference Mat, and apply the difference key to the raw footage. In the effect controls, select the difference layer. Choose the background footage that you made invisible. Now if you tinker with the matching tolerance, matching softness and blur before difference settings, you should start to see your background keying out. If your results are anything like ours, they may leave a good deal to be desired. But don't take my word for it. Listen to me two weeks ago after several hours of exhausting and mostly fruitless work. Now, as you can see, it wasn't a particularly good key. There's still lots of bits left over. There's this blue of the paddling pool, there's some yellow bits here, leaves, and there's all this green of the flowers. So what I did, I applied a few chokers to it. That one didn't seem to work. That one was too much. That one, this one got rid of a bit. And then some color keys. So here's a color key to get rid of some of the green. And there's the blue one to get rid of some blue. Here's one to get rid of some yellow. What's number four? More green. Okay. Unfortunately, that's about all I managed to get before losing bits of pool. And I've got to confess, it's really not a very good key. There's still quite a lot of little bits and pieces here and there. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the things I've done with this key. The first shot looked a bit like moonwalking actions. I'll put that in there and I'll slow it down a bit. This background and these bricks are put in afterwards by Paul. One, two, we put those exactly where we know he's he's going to land. And the background, uh, it doesn't, it starts to look not all that bad. So that's your difference key. Made up of di a difference key, a mask, three color keys, three simple chokers, a whole mess of keying going into this one. And it still doesn't look very good. Still, if you can do any better, send me the video, send me the results. Because, I don't know, there's a dead man on the end of this line. Next time we'll take the rock jumping sequence, key it properly, and have some fun with that.